Right, now that we've got the seat tops out, I can actually start sanding them. Well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of all this rusty rubbish. But it's not as smooth as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to give it a nice sand down and one final coat just to make it look nice and uh, nice and dandy. And I'm also going to get the router out and uh, smooth off these uh, holes. So they're not so sharp on the edges. And then I can get a nice coat of paint on all of those as well so they don't rot out or anything weird. This is my router over here. Uh, I've got the bit just slides in there and uh, this nut does up and then I've also got to set the height uh, it should be easy enough and uh, lock that off so I can just plunge and do the right cut and get the right depth so let's get cracking right now as you can see We've now got holes on all of them and they're all rounded to nice and uh, smooth. The other side is still square. Right, I've got my sandpaper now. I'm just going to wrap it around my finger and uh, on the other side of the boards, just round off the edge that's in here. So let's go crack on that one. As you can see, looks pretty flush and normal at the top, but all the edges are just smoothed over a little bit. And that transition from where the router did to what this whole cut saw was, is uh, yeah, now pretty perfect. So now all we have to do is sand the tops, but as you can see, it's raining now. So I'm gonna get these inside and dry, and then tomorrow I'll just sand them, and then maybe paint them, we'll see. Right, next day, I've got all my sanding gear out, got the orbital out. And now uh, we've got all the bits in there that we did the routing on yesterday. So we're going to set up here and get to sanding. Right, so I have my sanding set up. Got a mask because you need that. And I've got 120 grit at the moment. Just going to see how that does. I've got more or less depending. Um, and see what kind of finish we want to get out of these uh, imperfections got some gloves so this thing doesn't vibrate me to shreds and uh yeah this thing should do nicely so we've got all of them got them and i'm also going to do the bottoms of the floors that go on the inside of the boat as well so we've got quite a bit of sanding to do uh -oh, bury me, carry me. just finished up with the top sides absolutely covered in it and uh they're all done there the top sides but now i've got to do the other sides because uh i didn't put so many coats on that and uh, i'm just going to give it a, a deeper sand and that get one or two coats or something and the sand is going good the pad is lasting very long I haven't changed this yet and i've done all the tops and i might go a little bit of a, like a bigger grit maybe 80 for the bottom sides and maybe finish off with 120. So let's get a crack with those. Oh, oh, bury me, carry me, oh, oh, fire beneath, oh, oh, fire and water me. Going down deep, say, oh, oh, bury me, carry me, oh, oh. That thing uh, did its job quite well. Right, just check the weather. Although it's quite sunny now, as you can see, nice blue skies. Um, it's not gonna be like that for very long and most of the rest of the week's gonna be rubbish so on wednesday i think the sun's gonna be out so i'm gonna get up early and paint them um so yeah we've got those but i've also got inside the shed the floors and the floors are good but the same thing on the back because i didn't get that many coats of paint on it so we're going to sand the back up and then give it a fresh coat on the back as well which shouldn't be too bad so yeah that was quite bad on the edge there so yeah let's get cracking just finished doing the floors down there they're all ready to go that's all the panels inside that need to be painted all done and sanded just need paint when the weather's good enough and uh now i've got to do the inside now as one legend would say 
I've got some more oh, glorious sanding to do. Right inside the boat now, and inside we have to do where the hinges were, obviously. A bit where I went over with the glue. And then just a bit around on the surfaces. I might get a little bit on the sides here where it's got a little bit scuffed up. Um, but apart from that, hinges on this side. And that's pretty much it for the inside that I'm going to do. Down to the river. Just finished up all of the sanding. Uh, I've got this front ready for a bit of paint. All the sides done, all the way inside of the boat, all the way around. Right, now back in the shed. And uh, while while it's raining, the weather's bad. Uh, we can see all these holes from the screws from the old hinges, uh, like them. And they're pretty much all went rusty. As you can see, all the edges went rusty. This is one of the good ones. This is what they're meant to look like. But this is still the same mild still, so even though it's plated in whatever they've plated it in, it's still going to rust. So I went and got some stainless steel ones. Got the nice stainless steel ones here, and here's one of the old ones. And if you line up the holes, they all line up and they're the same size. So it should just be a simple replacement. All you've got to do is cut them to the right lengths, so that should not be too difficult. My angle grinder is out. I'm um, running the economy blade. Get the most out of this one. Should be fine because you've got enough up there just to go through this thin stuff. See how long it goes through. It's stainless steel, so we'll see. Finish cutting all of the hinges, they're all good to go. So now I just need to go round. Uh, if you can see that at the end, let's see if we can get this angle. You can see loads of burrs that need taking off, and I'm just going to use the, the disc because a flat disc is way too big for any of this. <laughs> right, just finished up all of the hinges. And as you can see, every edge is being rounded off at the end. So you've got no uh, burrs left, which is good. So no sharp bits. So that won't ruin any of the upholstery or get stuck on anything. And we've got the button head screws that are going on there. So that'd be quite nice. So yeah, nice, nice new part of stainless steel hinges, piano hinges. All right, now that we have all of these done, we can't put it on the boat because these need painting still. And the boat needs painting. So we can't do any of the hinge stuff until that is painted. So yeah, that'd be it for that one.